Good morning, Northeastern. Yesterday, the Lady Bobcat tennis team lost an extremely close match to York Suburban last night by a 2-3 score. Jill Lockman ran her record to 7-1 with a straight set win, 6-0, 6-3 at first singles. Second singles, Giselle Castano battled long and hard as she took her match into a third set tiebreaker and won after almost two hours. Additional exhibition wins were picked up by Abby Gerber, Savia Whitfield, Roxy Damien, Maddie Rick, and Emily Dellinger. Last night, in a highly an anticipated matchup, the Lady Bobcat field hockey team took on rival Central Panthers. The first few new minutes were initially initially dominated by the Panthers, getting several corners in a row, but that didn't stop the Lady Bobcats. Freshman Mariah Rasco and Jasmine Herod and juniors Abby Tabacchini and Jaden Bainbridge made key saves, only resulting in three shots on goal. As the Bobcats began gaining momentum, a controversial call in the circle led to a penalty stroke. Senior goalie Aaron Kelly made a diving save to keep the score tied at 0-0. The crucial save fueled the Bobcats with freshman Malia Fitzsimmons, sophomores Dylan Schultz and Cody Frabertheiser, and senior Cassidy Smith taking the ball deep into Panther territory. Junior Alana Drake dominated in possession with junior Sloan Shover, who inserted several lifts in, leading to multiple Bobcat breakaways. Central's Victoria Whitehead attempted to stop Bobcat momentum with a quick breakaway down the right side of the field, however after a channel by Jade, Jaden Brainbridge. Abby Tavakini stepped up to stop her personal rival cold in her tracks, getting possession back to the Bobcats and dribbling the ball 35 yards down the field before passing it off to Alana Drake. Taken back by the powerhouse Bobcats, the Panthers called a timeout. When back on the field, the Bobcats were about to resume play when a lightning delay was called. Ultimately, while Central didn't take the L, the match ended in a tie 0-0. Tonight, there's a girls' tennis match here at 4 against York Catholic. There's also a boys' soccer game against New Oxford here at 7.30. Good luck to both the Bobcat teams playing tonight. Open gyms for JV and varsity girls basketball will start on Thursday, September 12th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the middle school gym. Any girls interested in trying out for the basketball team are invited to attend these open sessions. Just a reminder, if any sports teams are interested in having a report on the announcements, please have someone from the team see Emily Dellinger to set up any scores and reports that you would like to appear in the daily sports segment.